What's going on you guys? So today is going to be a different style video. Excuse me. He wants to go outside. What's going on you guys? So today is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to do, I guess like a day in the life. I'm going to try to film little snippets from my day, you know, the whole day today and try to string them into one continuous video. I have no idea what the video is going to be about, but it hopefully it'll give you a better idea of what I do in a, in a whole work day as a, at least temporary, full-time reseller. So uh, it's like 7.15, 7.30 or so, so I'm gonna start out with a cup of coffee. So I have the morning show coming up really quickly with uh, a lot of Josh and Suburban Beard. So while my coffee's going and while I'm you know waiting for that, I'm gonna start pulling some orders from yesterday. It's kind of a mess out here right now. This is all the stuff I need to put into bins and sort. I've listed all this stuff in the last two or three days or so, um, but all my listed inventory are in these bins and on these shelves. When I'm packing my orders, I'll usually just take my Ikea bag and uh, just put it on the ground and then go through my bins and pull, put them in the bag and take them inside to the office to do my shipping. So let's get started. First thing going out is this Panama Jack hat. I got this at Goodwill uh, about two weeks ago. It was listed for about seven days and I accepted a best offer of $20. I think I paid like a dollar for this. This next item is a pair of golf pants. They are A9. Um, so you see I have my clothing organized um, by like SKU numbers. So A1, you know, A4. So I just go down to A9, whatever that is, yeah. And these are a pair of Callaway men's golf pants. I picked those up at the Goodwill Bins probably two months ago. I paid about a dollar for those and they sold for $15 with the buyer paying shipping. These shoes I just listed like two days ago. Um, they are Stefan Janowski or whatever, uh, my Nike skate shoes. Pretty good condition. I paid $6.50 for these and I think these sold for $15 with the buyer paying shipping. These Dansko Vegan Clogs are in really good condition, except the toes. The toes are a little bit kind of faded. Um, but even in this condition, I paid $6.50 for these, and they sold for $45, and the buyer paid shipping. So really good shoe sale there. Of course, this item, it's a North Face hoodie, but I haven't stored it away in a bin yet, so it's in here somewhere. Um, just got to figure out where. Oh, here it is. It is a uh, men's North Face hoodie. It's got a cool bear graphic thing on it. Um, I almost kept that, but I didn't. I sold it for $24 with the buyer paying shipping. And I paid uh, $5.75 for that at Goodwill. So These Echo Biome shoes. I think these are uh, golf shoes, women's golf shoes. A uh, little black teal colorway. Really nice. I paid $6.50 for these, and they sold for $35 with free shipping. These men's L.L. Bean boots, um, I actually got these for free from my sister. Somebody gave them to her, and they didn't fit her, so she gave them to me. Uh, and I sold these for $35, and the buyer paid shipping. This next item isn't put away yet either. It is that men's um, like pearl snap, really bright orange uh, shirt I got at the bins last week. I listed this, and it sold in about two days. And I got $30 for this, and the buyer paid shipping. Good sale there. So now I'm just going to take my whole bag of everything I've got to ship out today. And like I said, take it to my office so I can uh, pack it and ship it. You ready to come inside? Okay. Are you wet? Let me see your paws. No, oh, they're okay. You're good. You want some breakfast? There you go. There's your food. He's camera shy. He doesn't like being on camera. Isn't that right? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, and it looks like my coffee is done. So we're all set up for the morning show. I've got the YouTube screen pulled up over here and then the stream yard over here. Uh, just in case you ever wondered what we use to, to do the morning show, uh, it's StreamYard. It's a free service. It, the free version has a little duck thing in the corner, which is annoying, but the paid version is $25 a month. So get used to the duck. But we've got about 15 minutes until the show starts. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to box and bag some of this stuff up 
and then after the show I'll do I'll print my labels and, and, and you know tidy everything up. So let's get to packing. So I like to lay everything out just to see what kind of packaging I'll need. Like these pants are pretty heavy. I think they're over a pound. Let's let's check it out. Yeah, just over a pound. So these are gonna go in a padded flat rate envelope. Uh, this is definitely going to go in a padded flat red envelope. This is definitely first class, so that's just going to be a poly bag. That's going to be probably, I don't know, how, how heavy are these things? These are four pounds, three ounces. Um, I might put these in a, uh, I think they'll fit in that regional, regional B box there. I wonder. Yeah, fits like a glove. So I'll probably put those in that regional B box. I think that ships at a four pound rate, which would be the same as shipping in a priority box. So it doesn't really matter. Um, but uh, but yeah, so that's taken care of. Um, those will go in a padded flat rate envelope. These will probably go in a padded flat rate envelope. Uh, I think these are too long. So those will probably have to go in a regular shoe box. And that, um, I don't know. I'll probably have to find just a non-priority mailbox for that because it's going to be first class. But if I put it in a priority shoe box or a box like that, um, even though it would fit really well, uh, you can't do that. For first class items, you have to ship in a blank box or just a box that's not for priority mail. With these shoes, I said they're going in a padded flat rate envelope. And some people think that's, uh, you know, I can't believe you would shove shoes into a padded flat rate envelope. Uh, but these are, one, very small. I think these are like a women's size seven or something. Um, and I do protect them a little bit. Let me show you how I do that. This doesn't really protect it from getting squished, you know, but when somebody opens it and they see that I went through the extra trouble of saran wrapping their, their shoes, they're gonna not really care that I put them in a padded flat rate envelope. So, uh, and shoes are very like durable. You know, these are meant to be worn on a golf course and you know, run around in dirt and stuff. Like shipping them in a padded envelope isn't gonna hurt them. So that's what I do. And uh, let me know how you ship small shoes. I guess like, the wife and I are still jet lagged because we just we've been waking up early anyways. Yeah. This is kind of like the normal time we wake up on the East Coast, so I don't think we've adjusted to the West Coast time. Okay, so now I'm finished with the show, and I'm gonna finish up packing this stuff. So you can see I did the the saran wrap thing with these Danskos as well, and these should fit in a padded flat padded flat rate envelope too. Uh, this is gonna go first class. I'll put that in a poly bag. Um, so yeah, let's just get all this stuff packed up. Okay, so for this uh, Panama Jack hat, again, I said you had to, you couldn't use a priority mailbox because this is gonna go first class. So I just found one of these uh, old Amazon boxes in the garage, and I think the hat should fit in here pretty well. Um, I may have to bend the bill a little bit, but yeah, should be an issue. And that'll close up and ship first class. So now that I have everything packed up, um, since you don't wanna be confused, I always write something on the outside of the package that will help me know what it is. like. That's Echo for those Echo golf shoes. That says Dansko. Um, that says NF for that North Face hoodie. That's the pants. Um, that's obviously the shoes and that's obviously the hat I just packed. Um, and, oh, and those boots, I gotta do those. Uh, but just uh, writing something outside, just a quick description, just helps me not get confused as I pack and put labels on later on. So on these boots that are in this regional bead box, I wasn't sure what would be better. So you can see priority uh, would be eight dollars and one cents but if we do the regional rate box b it would be eight dollars and 25 cents so not a huge difference and because they're already in this box i'm just gonna ship them in the in the b box so uh this box did not save me money this time around but it has saved me a lot of money in the in the past so uh just learn how to use these boxes and apply it to your business and we're printing our labels we got a uh, seven coming out today once I have all the labels on, I'll put them all in my Ikea bag and then I just put them on my front porch and my mail lady picks them up. And then she puts the Ikea bag back in my mailbox. So it's a really good system we have. 
Some people ask me if I'm nervous, like leaving my packages on the porch like that. Uh, but I usually just leave the front door open so people know somebody's home. And also Moe's really like standing here looking out the window. So he's the little, the guard dog until the mail lady comes. So I guess I'll give you guys a little tour of, of everything, even though it's super messy right now. Um, so I have this table over here that I actually built. Um, I think it was originally for clothing, but now it's just a big conglomerate of stuff. Um, like that blue jacket needs repair. That Guitar Hero thing needs to be cleaned. Um, I don't know. It's just it's just a big mess over here. Um, this is my photo station. I have like the nice little white photo paper here and these two uh, soft boxes that I could point towards the photo station to do, you know, like hard, hard good stuff. And I can flip them around to do my clothing pictures, which I take on this piece of uh, piece of wood. Um, also, I have one of these gooseneck lights attached to this thing. So once you turn on both of these lights and the gooseneck, it really, really lights up this area very well. Uh, this table right here is my death pile. This is everything that I have not listed yet. Down there is woodworking and personal stuff, but everything from like here on is stuff I have to list still. Um, I am listing a lot of stuff, probably like 25 to 35 items a day generally. Um, so I'm working through it, but I'm also adding new inventory pretty much every day. So um, just, you know, gives me something to do. Um, down here is stuff that like needs to be cleaned. Like I need to clean those boots. Um, those golf shoes, I need to get some shoe goo and uh, glue them back together. Um, you know, like I said, it's just messy. This is all stuff I took pictures of and listed yesterday. I just have to organize over here in my storage area. All this stuff needs to be labeled and put into the bins. I'm out of space in my clothing bins, so I need to go get some more clothing bins. Um, I get these at Target. They're like eight bucks, which is kind of expensive, but they lock. Um, and if you're keeping your inventory in a garage like this um, or in like a storage unit or something, I would highly, highly recommend uh, that you get lockable bins for your clothes and stuff. Um, you know, I have mouse traps and stuff in here, but I'm sure that there's mice running around here and somewhere. So you just don't want those guys to to get into your clothing. So um, I think it's worth it paying a couple extra dollars to get these uh, lockable bins. Keep all my hats over here. I really need to <laughs> do something better with my hat storage because they're all just literally piled up there. Um, and I would like to move my water heater out of here. Maybe put it in the crawl space or something. I don't know, but that's a project for a new day. Here's where I keep my boxes, just random like Amazon boxes and stuff that I would need to use for shipping. Here's some more photo paper when I run out of that. Here's my shoe shelf that I built. As you can see, I'm already out of room, doubled up on most of these shelves. That's pretty much it. That side of my garage is super, super uh, crowded. Uh, I've got my lawnmower in here. Some of those bath fans the, that I hold over there, all my woodworking stuff is over there and over there. So I'm actually going to, uh, I'm just going to go source for a little bit. I'm going to head to the Goodwill bins, probably going to go to a TJ Maxx. Um, there's a TJ Maxx and Ross near me because um, I think that new with tag stuff is going to be really good this time of year. So I'm going to go look for some good deals there and then I'll probably go to Target to get some more of those clothing bins and then come back and start listing. So uh, we'll see you at the uh, sourcing spot, whichever I go to first. decided to come to Goodwill first. Uh, we're going to go into the outlet right here and see what we can find. You see that pink and blue thing in my cart? That's an Eno hammock. I didn't turn my camera on when I found that. straps for that Eno. I think there's, oh, there's just one. I've got the other ones here somewhere. Tag Cooper hat. It's kind of dirty. It's got fuzz all over it, but I think it will uh, clean up. Clean up nicely. This is where I get all my dog toys from Moe's. Um, they're just cheap and he tears them up super fast. So I'll get him a little hippo. And 
and uh, that one too. These dance guys look pretty good. There are some you know, peeling on the sides, but no major wearing. And uh, a few scuffs on the toes, but I think I'll pick these up. 834. Okay. You want to wrap it? Uh, no, thank you. Okay, done in the outlet. Now I'm going to go to this retail store, which is just a regular Goodwill. Nice uh, Cole Hans, but uh, just a little too scuffed on the toes. Okay, found a little flip clock, but someone has taken it apart. Um, you can see the little flippy things in there. So let's plug it in and see if it still works. I do not think it works. I'm not, not really surprised. I mean, there's a bunch of like loose pieces in there. Um, I'm just gonna pass. Disappointing. I don't know what this is, but it seems loud and uh, probably need to wash it. It's got some stains up there, but I'll take a chance on that. Look at this one. Nice. I'll definitely, definitely get that. Not the best colorway, but still an actual NRA branded hat. Uh, I will, uh, I will get that. This is a huge truck. They want six dollars and eighty-two cents for it. Um, I would basically just take this body off and just sell that. I think it's worth it. All right, so I left there. I spent like $8 at the bins and in the retail store, I put back the monster truck. The, the body that I was gonna sell was gonna be really, really thin. Um, so, so I don't know, I just didn't wanna deal with it. And I don't really have a ton of space for something that big anyway, so. Uh, spent like what, eight, nine, ten, eleven bucks total on all this stuff, and uh, pretty good haul. So now I'm gonna head to, uh, I guess, TJ Maxx. Just kidding. Going to one more Goodwill. That was a good Goodwill haul. I, I, I didn't really expect much going in there and they had changed up the clothing rack since the last time I was in there, so I wasn't really sure where everything was. Uh, but I did pick up that one pair of shoes and four shirts. The Diodora uh, soccer cleats, those were indoor soccer cleats. Paid $6.50 for those and should get like $25, maybe $30 bucks for those. Uh, and then the shirts were awesome. The uh, the two Columbia PFG shirts are the same size. I'm going to lot those together. I paid $4.75 each, so I've got like $9.50 or whatever into them. Uh, and I can probably sell a lot of two for like 30 bucks with free shipping. Then the Harley Davidson shirt was awesome. I, it really sucks that somebody cut the tag out of that, but I don't think that'll affect the value too much. I believe it's a men's medium. So the only thing about it, I wish it was a larger size. Uh, but other than that, it was awesome. It was $4.75 and I think I could probably get 35 to 40 for that. Now let's head to TJ Maxx. Bucks, but 
original retail is 150. So I pay 60 for this. I think I can get about 120 for it, doubling my money. That's just expensive though. These spider socks are only six bucks and they're selling pretty well. Should be able to double my money. I'm gonna get all three of these. Hey, Moe's. Hey. Oh, did you chew up something? It looks like you chewed up something. It's okay, I still love you. Got you something. Yeah, look. Look at these. I got the hippo and the lion. Go pick whichever one you want. Which one are you getting? I'm just curious. Oh, the lion. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. He growls when he's happy. Look at that tail. Yeah, he's happy. Okay, go chew it up. Okay, so between the three Goodwills and the TJ Maxx, uh, I spent 100, 125, 133-ish. About $137 altogether. Um, and for everything I got, it really was a it was a really good deal. TJ Maxx retail arbitrage stuff you're always gonna have to pay up for, but I think going into Q4, that new with tags inventory is gonna sell a lot better than some of this Goodwill stuff. So, you know, it's just a risk I took, spend a hundred bucks, but you know, those two jackets should bring about a hundred each, and then the socks would double my money, so it'd make about $21 on the three pairs of socks altogether. And that Callaway uh, golf pullover, that was 20 bucks and that should sell for like 50 to 60. So, you know, all in all spend hundred to make, you know, 275 or so. So I think that's a pretty good uh, return on investment. I'm not gonna go over everything I got. Um, probably at the bins, the best find was this Eno. This is a singles nest uh, Eno hammock. It's one of those things you like fold up into a bag. Um, brand new, these things are like 50 bucks. It doesn't have straps, but I was able to find one strap um, to go with it, these Atlas suspension system straps. Um, so, I mean, I can probably list it without the straps and sell it for like 25 bucks or so. Uh, so good find there. And it was super lightweight. It was probably about a dollar, maybe $1.50. Um, I found this, you know, Eddie Bauer hiking, uh, thing, two Kavu bags, this Kavu like shoulder bag and this Kavu, uh, lunchbox. Those are pretty cool. And this little purse I thought was pretty neat as well. Oh, and I got those Dansko shoes. So all that stuff together, um, I mean, I spent about $8 on it and I should, I should be making over a hundred dollars pretty easily. Um, the Goodwill already talked about that. TJ Maxx already talked about that. Those hats are pretty good. I spent $3, a dollar each on these hats. Don't really know anything about that one, but seems pretty cool. Maybe 15 bucks or so. These NRA hats should do very well. This one, since it's kind of a feminine colorway, it might be harder to sell, um, but maybe 15 to 20 on that. And then this one, just the classic NRA hat with the American flag on the back. Um, I'm probably going to list this one for like 25. So pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool uh, sourcing day there. So now I'm going to <laughs> just get the listing, I guess, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's how reselling works. You buy stuff and then you got to list it. I'm probably going to, I'm probably going to list the stuff I got today just because that's like, the most fun, you know, the stuff I'm most excited about. So I'll get that listed and then I'll work on the stuff on the table over here. Uh, but I'm going to probably cut the video off here because that's pretty much my day. It's like 1.45 right now and Haley will get home from work about 4. Um, so from now until 4, I'm just going to be taking pictures of everything. And then tonight we get home from church and we're just chilling, watching TV. I will do my listing on my phone at that time. So yeah, this was like my first uh, video as like a full-time reseller, like a day in the life type deal. Uh, don't know how it's going to look after it's edited, but I feel pretty good about it. So if you guys like this video, let me know, give me a thumbs up. And, uh, if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to my channel and make new reselling videos at least, I'd say at least two to three days a week. I'm trying to do more now that, uh, that I'm, you know, full time. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your time. Moses is going to go play and I'm going to go list. So I'll see you guys on the next one.